There are loads of products on the market promising to reduce wrinkles. For many of them, it's just unproven hype. But there's one supplement that we know can reduce wrinkles. And with the latest research findings, we've got more confidence than ever. So in this video, we'll dig into the evidence surrounding collagen peptides to see how effective they actually are. Plus, we'll look at how to use them in the right way to start reaping their benefits and address the collagen versus protein controversy. And if you want weekly health research summaries and health strategies that I share with my patients, sign up using the link in the pinned comment. But first, what is collagen anyway, and what does it have to do with wrinkles? Well, collagen is the most common protein in our bodies. Think of it like the scaffolding that provides structure to our muscles, bones, tendons, and skin. In the skin specifically, collagen forms a network that supports the outer layer, giving it firmness and elasticity. Specialized cells in the skin called fibroblasts make collagen and elastin, which is a key component for elasticity. But as we age, those fibroblasts become less active and collagen production declines by about 1 to 1.5% per year from early adulthood. And existing collagen breaks down more quickly. This process is made worse by lifestyle factors like smoking and spending time in the sun. With less collagen, the skin begins to lose its firmness and elasticity. We start to see wrinkles and sagging of the skin. Since collagen is so important, it's natural to wonder, if we consume more collagen, will that help? Can our body somehow make use of it to restore or replace the collagen in our skin? Well, let's have a look and see what the research says. Studies of collagen's effects on our skin typically involve taking supplements, and these supplements usually consist of collagen peptides. Peptides are short chains of amino acids that are the building blocks of protein. So collagen peptides are what we get when we break collagen proteins into smaller pieces. One randomized controlled trial tested the effects of collagen peptides on wrinkles and skin quality. Participants took collagen peptides or a placebo for 12 weeks. Their skin was carefully measured before, during and after the study period. Researchers found that those who were taking the collagen peptides had significant improvements in wrinkles, skin roughness, elasticity and moisture. And this kind of change isn't just seen in one or two studies. A meta-analysis in 2023 looked at 26 randomized controlled trials of collagen peptides. The study authors concluded that the evidence shows that collagen supplements significantly improve skin hydration and elasticity. These are two key markers of improved collagen in the skin. And our confidence in collagen's power to affect our skin's condition is now even stronger. Since that meta-analysis that was published in 2023, we've got four additional studies that reinforce those earlier results. All of them show positive effects. For instance, this study published in February 2024 looked at wrinkles, elasticity, and hydration. They measured participants at the 4, 8, and 12-week mark. Once again, those taking collagen peptides experienced significant improvements in wrinkle size, elasticity, and hydration. Then another study was published in November 2024 that looked at the effects of 5 grams of collagen a day. 85 women were assigned to either the placebo group or the peptide group, and after about 6 months, the supplement group had marked improvements in skin elasticity and moisture. But what counts as significant improvement? How big is the impact of collagen supplementation on our skin? Well, one study, for example, on collagen peptide supplements took careful measurements of skin wrinkles and thickness using precision tools. After 90 days of treatment, those who took collagen peptides saw wrinkles reduced in their foreheads and around their mouths and eyes by between 14 and 31%, so that's a substantial change. Collagen peptide supplements may even help in other ways. There's a suggestion that they may improve sleep quality in men who are struggling with sleep. Those who took the supplements woke up less often during the night. Now, I'm a bit skeptical about these results and more studies are required, but it's an interesting initial finding. Another study suggested that collagen peptides made daily physical activity easier and reduced pain levels. So what's going on here? How does collagen peptides actually help and how should we use it to get the most benefits? Well, let's dig deeper. When we swallow a supplement containing collagen peptides, those short chains of amino acids, so as in the peptides, they get directly absorbed via peptide transporters in our intestines. They make their way into the blood, and as the blood circulates throughout the body, the peptides finally reach the skin. A study of both mice and humans confirmed this. The collagen peptides that we eat, they do indeed make their way to our skin. But what happens when the peptides get there? Well, the peptides seem to signal to our fibroblasts in our skin to produce more collagen and elastin. They also stimulate the production of substances that help block the breakdown of existing collagen and elastin. So they start rebuilding the crucial structures of healthy skin and reduce the loss of what we already have. And there's another interesting effect that connects to our skin moisture. Collagen peptides also stimulate the production of hyaluronic acid. 
This acid has a unique ability to bind and hold onto water. It's the key molecule when it comes to moisture. And moisture in the skin is an important part of keeping a youthful appearance. But here's a question that's caused quite a bit of controversy. As we've already noted, collagen peptides are short chains of amino acids, and our bodies can build collagen from amino acid building blocks that we get from various protein sources. So shouldn't we just eat more protein? Do we get any extra benefit from consuming collagen peptides specifically? Well, one intriguing randomized controlled trial from 2020 sheds light on this question. It examined burn patients. One group took protein, and the other took a matching amount of collagen peptides. The collagen peptide group experienced significantly higher wound healing rates compared to the protein group. This suggests that collagen peptides do indeed have benefits beyond regular protein intake. In addition, several studies have shown that when collagen is broken down into peptides, it's easier for our bodies to absorb and use. So all of this sounds amazing, but there's one question that we always need to pause and ask. Are collagen peptides safe? Well, collagen peptides are a natural substance. They are simply parts of the collagen protein that we eat when consuming animal products. So the good news is that we've got no known serious adverse events for our health. The FDA and the World Health Organization and European Commission for Health and Consumer Protection have all listed collagen peptides as safe. So how can we use collagen peptides to reap all of their benefits for improving the appearance of our skin? First, we need to understand the available collagen peptide forms. Now, online, you'll see collagen peptides as type 1 or type 3. This relates to the original strand of collagen that was broken down into those shorter peptides. But from the available data that we have, the original type of collagen doesn't appear to matter because, remember, we've broken down that longer chain of collagen into shorter peptides. So how much do we need? Well, the range of collagen peptide intake that's shown to be effective in the existing studies is between 2.5 to 15 grams per day. But how long do we need to take it to see the effects? Well, some key things to keep in mind about collagen peptides is that they're a supplement to consider for the long haul. Studies found that the effects show up over a number of weeks to months. We're probably not going to see a difference overnight. And given what we've gone through in this video, I personally incorporate collagen peptides into my supplement stack, and I plan to do so indefinitely. They're something that our bodies can always use to maintain healthy skin, particularly as we age, and that's why I've included it in the new Microvitamin Plus powder. It contains 12.5 grams of collagen peptides. Now, my goal with this product was to combine all of the existing supplements that I was taking into one product, but just because I take a supplement does in no way mean that you should as well. And another important note, if we're taking collagen peptides to help build up our skin from the inside, we also want to prevent damage from the outside, and the most significant cause of damage and skin aging is the sun. Sunlight has UV radiation that breaks down collagen that we want to preserve. And make sure to check out the next video here that goes through 9 supplements with fantastic evidence that they work.